It's a once-in-a-lifetime cosmic event. On Monday, a total solar eclipse will sweep across the North American continent. You'll need protective glasses to stare at the sun, a fact that has not been lost on counterfeiters. Aaron Collins explains. Lori Kwan is chasing a very special summer sun, a rare opportunity for her and her kids to see a total solar eclipse. It's a bit of an adventure, car camping, um, seeing the total eclipse versus 81% of it from Calgary. Kwan plans to drive 12 hours to Idaho to watch the sun disappear before her eyes on Monday morning. Her most important piece of luggage, special glasses that allow her to watch the eclipse. Glasses she ordered in bulk well in advance. I bought 50 glasses, expecting them last week. They weren't being delivered, so I was getting a little worried. Kwan's order fell through and she blames counterfeit glasses being sold on Amazon for the problem. Now she's frantically searching for last minute replacements. So a week out and you thought you had things sorted out? I thought, I don't. <laughs> and had the rug pulled out from underneath you? Yeah, no glasses and no accommodations. So what are you going to do? Scramble. Wing it. One thing scientists say Quan and others shouldn't do, take in this solar eclipse without proper glasses. If you were to look at the sun long enough, this could actually be enough to cause permanent damage, to basically burn uh, spots on your retina that would never recover. Safety was something Candace Rorick took for granted when she bought 1,200 solar eclipse glasses online to give away. But after mailing out around 150, the Vancouver realtor suspected they were fake. We've been contacting um, anyone who has received the glasses um, just to let them know that we're that they're not safe to use at this point. Rorick hasn't managed to get her money back, but Amazon is offering refunds for people who bought fake glasses through them. Back in Calgary, Lori Kwan is still searching for glasses and a place to stay. No easy task with hotel rooms running as much as $1,000 a night. Still, Kwan hopes to hit the road this weekend to chase that eclipse. Aaron Collins, CBC News, Calgary.